hey guys welcome back as always if you are watching our videos for the first time i would recommend you to subscribe to our youtube channel qs script right so it's not difficult to find us just type qs script on the youtube search bar and it will land you on our qs script youtube channel page just hit the subscribe button and you'll be subscribed to our channel right so whenever i add any new video on any particular topic you would be automatically notified by youtube so uh coming to uh, postman features right so the first feature which is one of the most important features in postman is workspaces right so workspaces is the place where you can collaborate with different team members and you can also organize all your apis collections and uh, everything you write in postman right so it helps you uh, collaborate seamlessly with other team members if you are working in a team or if you are working on a personal workspace you can organize your projects according to your needs so there are two types of workspaces one is the personal workspace and one is the team workspace right so personal workspace is visible to you uh, team workspace is uh, visible across the team members who are added to that particular uh, workspace right so we are going to look at uh, how how you can create a personal workspace and a team workspace how you can invite your team members to it how you can share your workspace and how you can do some version controlling of your workspaces right so let's jump uh, quickly into postman and once you log in um, into your postman this will be the dashboard for your postman where you can create different requests and collections right and on the top center you will find your workspace right so this is now currently i'm in my current uh, my workspace right um, I can even invite someone, but that will turn this workspace into a team workspace, right? So uh, once you click on this, you will see there are two tabs. One is personal and one is team. So the team workspace will list down all your workspaces which are shared with other team members and personal workspace um, where you will have all your personal workspaces, right? So let's go ahead and create another personal workspace for us for this training, right? so training and click on create new right so okay sorry uh so here you give it a name so and give it um summary so postman workspace for training right and here you will have an option like if you want to choose a team workspace or a personal workspace right so if you create a personal workspace it will create this workspace if you want to enter a team workspace you can also invite other people to join this workspace right so if i give some email address here it will send an invite um asking the person to join this particular workspace right now there are some other features which are not available in the open source version right it like you can add uh, you can select what uh, kind of privileges the person will have whether it will be an admin or collaborator only but uh, in the free version you will it will be admin by default right similarly um, the visibility will be uh, i mean public so everybody can view this workspace um, in the paid version you can make it private also so so this is our team workspace right uh, let's go ahead and create this so now it switched on to this workspace we don't have any collections or history or apis here right so everything is empty and so similarly if you want to share this workspace with someone right so you can uh, create a csv with any number of people 
uh, or txt file with their email addresses or you can also generate a link right so you can generate this link copy this and share it with your um, team members or friends whomever you want to invite to this particular workspace right so once um, once you invite your team members, everybody will be able to uh, contribute into this uh, this workspace, right? So they can add their own collections, they can add their own API requests, right? Uh, they can create their own APIs, and everything will be synced real time across across the workspaces, right? And across the accounts which are added into the workspaces. So it will sync all those. Uh, collections or APIs which you have created across to your team members. So this is how you can collaborate uh, effectively in Postman. Now, there are some other features like you can create um, a fork, create a pull request, merge those, merge those uh, changes, right? So let's create a um, collection, a sample collection, right? So this is our sample collection. And if you click on this three dots, right? So it will give you all the options here, right? So you can share this collection, manage roles, rename, edit, and here comes a creative fork, right? So I can create a fork of this particular collection, right? So sample fork and I can fork this collection here, right? So this creates a fork of the collection. Now, what I can do, I can add a request here, right? Some request. So login. So this will add a request to my collection. And now I can create a pull request for this, right? So this if um, you have worked with any code repository like git or github uh, this functionality will look similar to you because we do the same thing in the code repository we create a fork of the code repository then we make our own changes we create a pull request and add some reviewers they will review the code and they will merge those changes right so similarly you can do it here this is the um, so this is the source and this is the destination of the pull request, right? These are the changes which we have done. So it's a get request was added with this name and method, right? And then we can also find a reviewer who can review our changes and we can create the pull request, right? So let's give it a title. Changes and create the pull request, right? So now you can review uh, the changes, right? And uh, you can approve it if you want. You can put some um, comments on the changes, right? If you are not happy with the changes, you can put some comments. And then if you are happy, um, just go ahead. You can also decline the changes or approve the changes, right? So this change request or pull request was approved now what you can do you can go ahead and merge the changes right so there are three options merge changes merge changes and update source right so both the source and destination will be updated merge changes and delete source so the destination will be updated and the source will be deleted and the first change will be updated destination will be updated with the changes right so let's go ahead with the first option and so pull request was merged successfully right so let's go back to our main collection right and you will see there is a request already added here right so which was merged from the forked collection right so this is how um you can do version controlling and collaboration across your different workspaces um, and your team members in Postman. It's a pretty cool feature of Postman, right? So 
you don't need to uh, put a put all your collections or your api request into a github repository and then uh, manage that from there you can manage directly uh, in postman itself right so it's an inbuilt feature of postman so um in the next sections uh, we'll be looking at some of the other features of postman um we'll look how to create different kinds of requests right so join me in the next videos where we'll be talking about more about postman.